Hey Wastelanders, this is Gary. I'm back with a review of another Tuya knife. This is the Tuya Big Belly. <laughs> I think it's the Big Belly. <laughs> if it is the Big Belly, it would be on the screen. Um, why I doubt myself, I've been calling it the Fat Belly, but I think it's the Tuya Big Belly. This is the um, Tuya Big Belly, and it's a limited edition. It's if you can see it it's number 71 of 220 and it's m390 and to, it's an integral knife you probably wanted me to say integral but i think the pr correct pronun pronunciation is integral <laughs> anyway this is a crossbar lock knife and uh, I really like it it takes some getting used to flipping it because like like I said in the unboxing video the the thumb stud rests up against the frame and you just have to learn to push it from there and not try to squeeze your uh, finger in there in between it so I uh, <laughs> I can do it now so uh, yeah and I think this is another hollow grind I'm if I'm mistaken I'll, I'll I'll put it down there in the screen but it feels like a hollow grind this is a apex pass around knife and I believe this is a in the two hundred and eighty dollar range on to a and it's a it's a fine knife it's a fine knife it's it's integral these are these are steel plates I believe because they're magnetic I, I checked them on my uh, unboxing video um, I believe this is a titanium clip yep titanium clip and the only screws I see is the pivot and the one screw holding the titanium clip on so let's uh, show you how deep it goes using my um, <laughs> sticker. <laughs> so there's a little bit poking out of the pocket, just enough for you to grip on. And uh, let's, I'm, I'm very interested in getting a weight on this big, um, big belly. <laughs> Let's uh, let's break it down. Show you some knife comparisons and uh, maybe a weight and kick off or in this uh, review of the Big Belly. As I said on the other previous two knife, I'm I didn't want to carry th these two knives that long. Uh, there's a lot of people on the list of uh, of the pass around, and I wanted to get it out to them because. Being, seeing as they're both limited edition knives, I don't I don't want to spend a lot of time on uh, knives that you possibly couldn't get. They were probably they will sell out eventually, and you know I I don't like to do reviews on knives that you can't get. Let's so get a weight on this bad boy. Three point five three ounces. That's um, one hundred and gram. One hundred even. One hundred grams. Let's give a uh, get a thickness on the body. Um, that's twelve millimeters and point four seven five inches. So. Let's pull out my ruler and then get some measurements on this blade. This is basically a three and a quarter inch blade. I believe the previous to, to your knife, the, the the hive was a three three and a half inch blade or blade. 
the handle is about four inches so let's compare it to some other knives I'm gonna compare it to the conspirator As you can see, the Civivi Conspirator is a much bigger knife. But I like that um, I always thought the Civivi Conspirator was a kind of a fat blade, a tall blade. And this, this just about matches up with the tall blade of uh, the Conspirator. And let's uh, compare it to a smaller knife. This is the... BRS, what do you call it? BRS Apache. So, so you can see how it compares to the BRS Apache. Sort of a similar locking system. It's a button lock, but a button lock is an easy locking system as compared to. Um, an access lock. If you want to see it compared to a, a Benchmade bug out, I have that too. This is the Benchmade bug out. You can see it compared to a Benchmade bug out. It's basically the same size as a bug out. Just a little bit fatter, a little bit taller in the handle. A little bit thicker in the hand so it's a very comfortable knife even with these uh, finger holes very comfortable very comfortable to hold oh you don't feel the pocket clip at all has a nice ramp I believe all these edges are slightly, slightly, very slightly eased over. So it doesn't have any sharp edges other than the blade itself. I like it's, that it's centered. And I like uh, the blade to handle, handle ratio. You can see it's almost all the way. I can't quite feel, feel it but it's almost there I like that it's a, a thumb launcher a thumb stud launcher and it has a such a snappy action it's a beautiful knife beautiful knife beautiful knife and uh, as I said it's it may be on the website still or it may not because it's a limited edition so I'll post a, um, a link in the description and or a code that you can uh, use to get 10% off so if you're interested I like carbon fiber I don't really necessarily like this pattern I, I, I if it was a shred carbon fiber I think it would be better but I don't know if you can do a shred carbon fiber maybe it an integral I don't know maybe it this is a stronger version of a integral with the layers layering but anyway that's your uh, to you big belly Alright guys, thanks. Take care.